Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to pass command line arguments in the Visual Studio 2013. So see here, I have a simple program for uh, passing the command line arguments. Here I'm going to pass five command line arguments. So in the variable argc, we are going to store the count of command line arguments. So its total value will be 1 plus 5 because 1 is for the program name and 5 for the command line arguments that we are going to pass. In character uh, pointer array argv we are going to store our five command line arguments so its total count will be six one for the program name and rest five for the our five command lines arguments that we are going to pass so uh, to do that uh, either click on project name click on properties and then to the configuration properties click on debugging and here we have command line argument else go to menu project properties and in the configuration properties click on debugging and here we have command line arguments so to input our command line arguments click here in and drop down menu click on edit so here you can input your command line argument suppose we want to type a space b space c space d and space e so these are all our five command line argument if uh, you want to pass the strings you can also pass as hi this is command a so totally we have five uh, strings here so you can also pass the uh, group of characters uh, in mention in the double quotes like hi this is called as command line argument so uh, as you can see we have hi this is these three arguments and then in double quotes called as fourth argument and in double quotes command line argument as a five fifth arguments so you can pass these command lines arguments using double quotes or normally just make sure that you separate them by using this space click on ok and then click on ok so we have inputted our five command line arguments so now let's compile and run the program so see here program name is the path to my debug folders executable exe and first argument is hi then this is called as and command line arguments so by this way we have successfully inputted our command line arguments and executed the programs i hope this helped you and thanks for watching the tutorial